presenting the award to Nancy Retsinas. Nancy has been leading change in our community for the past 27 years. Her professional and community contributions are significant. Nancy is a perpetual innovator. She is an active listener, a collabor collaborator, and a connector. Our community has been improved by Nancy's leadership. Nancy began her legal profession 27 years ago, where she was the fourth woman lawyer ever hired in the 20 plus person law firm, and where she elevated to partnership as only the third woman to ever attain partner. Nancy has transformed the legal profession, aligning her values to her legal work. Her practice is committed to non-court dispute resolution. She's led a collaborative practice where family law is recognizing that no one party wins. Nancy's the co-founder and executive director for the Two Rivers Institute for Dispute Resolution, whose primary goal is to share the collaborative law model by spreading the word about innovative and respectful ways to resolve legal disputes. Nancy is a speaker, she's an author, recognized as a subject matter expert in collaborative law and conflict resolution. She's been honored with the Paul Harris Fellow for the Rotary Club, the Volunteer Lawyer of the Year Award, and the Top 40 Business Professional Under 40. If you have had the privilege of working with Nancy, it may have been on one of the many boards that she has participated in a leadership role. Today, Nancy's board service is extensive. Her current leadership roles include Regional Chair, Northwest Region Global Collaborative Law Council, Board Director, Collaborative Professionals of Washington, Board President for Capella Romana, Board Director for the Children's Center, Volunteer Mediator at Community Mediation Services. In addition, she's been a Board Director or Chairwoman for roles in 10 additional organizations over the last two decades, ranging from the Clark College Foundation, the American Red Cross, the Vancouver Rotary Club, the Clark County Emergency Medical Services Advisory Board, and the League of Women Voters of Clark County. Just to name a few of those 10 different organizations Nancy's footprint and her stamp have been on. I have had the pleasure of knowing Nancy for almost two decades now. She's a role model leading with authenticity, with compassion, and with love. She's an extraordinary teacher, and Nancy may not understand the impact she's had on those around her. During our two-decade friendship, when I'm at a crossroads, I often consider, what would Nancy do? I thought I would conclude my introduction of this amazing woman by sharing a quote written by Elizabeth Kubler-Ross that Nancy actually gave to Heidi and I the quote is, the most beautiful people we have known are those who have known defeat, known suffering, known struggle, known loss, and have found their way out of the depths. These persons have an appreciation, a sensitivity, and an understanding of life that fills them with compassion, gentleness, and a deep loving concern. Beautiful people do not just happen. Nancy, you're a beautiful person. You live with compassion, gentleness, and loving concern. I'm honored to have served with you in the community, to have learned from your example, and I am very proud to present this 2018 IRIS Award to you.
of course, thank you to the sponsors. Um, your commitment to this community is outstanding. Um, I look around this room and I see so many women I've admired for so long. Leaders who have inspired me, cajoled me, mentored me, impacted our community in so many ways. Thank you, all of you. To Julie, Juliana, and Nan, what an honor to share this stage with you tonight. You are all amazing. And to have the, uh, my most important people here. Oh, of course, see, this is the thing, I always like to cry. My gratitude is unbounded. Thank you, my husband, my two stepchildren, my sister, one of my many nieces, my mother-in-law, and of course my dearest, best, and oldest friend from kindergarten, Andrea, is here with us tonight too. So, wow, um, standing here in Clark, in Clark College, in Geyser Hall, I feel like I come home, literally. I grew up just blocks from here. Um, from the time I was six until I attended, attended Clark just after high school in 1982, in case anybody's counting, I remember walking through these halls and this campus. Of course, some things have changed, but I remember when there was a, an upstairs area here. Um, there are so many other stories I could tell. All four of us Nellers, plus my mother, attended here. Uh, of course, I don't have time to tell all those stories, but suffice it to say that this place has always felt like home to me. So it's very special for me to be receiving this honor in this moment, in this place tonight. During my two years here at Clark, I found myself uh, as part of the student government leadership, where I first became exposed to leadership and how my own sense of power, internal and external, played into how I viewed myself in relationship to leadership. You see, I didn't see myself as being particularly powerful, on the inside at least. I was pretty adept at exerting exterior power with my natural, albeit at times troubling, assertiveness and verbal acuity. But internally, see, they know. <laughs> they all know. Internally, I really struggled with my purpose. After I finished law school in 1991, I came home to practice law. Early on, I learned what most of us learn as new lawyers, to doggedly pursue your client's course. It was energizing. To swoop into court and protect the vulnerable or the maligned, it felt pretty cool. I was a courtroom lawyer, a litigator. I was proud of much of the work I did on behalf of clients, and I still am. But there was, both early on and always, a disconnect for me, an uneasiness. Am I using my powers for the greater good? What exactly are my values, and how do they align with the values of the court system? So I set about to find my superpowers, so to speak. The initial inquiry led me to nonprofit community service starting way back in 1993 with the League of Women Voters of Clark County. And this volunteer work has been a place of great growth and satisfaction for me. The leadership skills learned in these settings has been invaluable and set me on a course professionally to find a place where I could grow and find the same level of satisfaction I found digging into my volunteer work. Because professionally, there was still a disconnect. Where I value self-direction, empowerment, benevolence, co-creation, the blending of head and heart, the system I was professionally working in values conformity and security. It is rational and headstrong. It's at times struggles to find heart. So after nearly 24 years practicing law and some pretty serious soul searching, I quit court. I haven't been inside a courtroom on a contested claim in more than three years. And in those three years, I've transformed my professional work. I have a thriving non-court settlement practice. I've discovered my superpowers. <laughs> and I found my purpose, and that is to change the culture of conflict resolution in Clark County and beyond. This journey has led me to understand that true power lies in finding your purpose and expressing that to the world. As Martin Luther King has said, power properly understood is nothing but the ability to achieve purpose. Now I'm a peacemaker. I work with people in conflict to hopefully on a good day and when the stars align, transform that conflict and the humans at the center of it towards a brighter, more peaceful, coherent future. That gets me going in the morning. And I've stepped up as a leader in my professional community too. I'm impassioned by my purpose to teach and lead my colleagues along this path of collaborative problem solving. So what I wanna leave you all with here tonight 
young girls and women, especially on this International Women's Day, is this. Trust your gut. Discover your own superpowers. Harness them for good and achieve your purpose. Thank you.